Hello, my name is Hope and I want to go over this Stage 2 Meaningful Use Core Measure for Measure 13. This measure is specifically geared toward patient-specific education resources. The objective to this measure is to use clinically relevant information from certified EHR technology to identify patient-specific education resources and provide those resources to the patient. Patient-specific education resources identified by certified EHR technology are provided to patients for more than 10% of all unique patients with office visits seen by the EP during the EHR reporting period. Any EP who has had no office visits during the EH reporting period is excluded. So now I want to hop over to EHR and I want to show you the different ways that this measure, um, your eligible professional provider gets credit for this measure. So you always want to make sure the first thing how this is measured is you want to make sure that you have a visit type. So always make sure that you have the correct specialty and the visit type. The first way that I'm going to show you is by going through File. So you would select File, scroll down to Patient Education, highlight it, and click on it. Here this pulls up your internal patient education. This is your HealthWise. Over here in the corner, you see that it has it. This is pulling information specific to the age of our patient. You also have the option to change this. You can look via ICD-9 code, CPT code, title. You can change your age, language, gender. It offers it in different languages. So let's say we just want to pull up something cardiovascular related to our patient. I'm just going to select anything. Here you see that you have select, send to the patient, portal, save to the encounter, and cancel. Cancel, you don't want to do anything with it. You decided that this really isn't um, the information that you're looking for specific to why your patient's being seen. Select, I just want to put a cross on that. You always want to save to the encounter or send to the portal before you select and print. If you select and print first, you could forget to save to the encounter first. Also, your patient does not get credit. Your provider doesn't get credit for this meaningful use measure because it doesn't recognize that you selected it first. You always want to save to the encounter or send to the portal. No, if you're sending it to the portal, your, your physician's getting credit for that measure as well. So we're going to save to the encounter. Document already exists. So let's get something that doesn't exist. So here we're going to save this to the encounter. Here you see it's save. And here it is in the encounter, so your provider just got credit. So you would close out of that. I want to show you again, file, scroll down to patient education. Let's just select something else. Um, I just want to show it to you from sending to portal. You will get a pop-up if the patient doesn't have a portal. But here you see that it's saving it to your encounter and it can't be performed because the patient's not enrolled um, in the portal. But you'll see that it still saves to your encounter. Also from the intake, you also have the option from the health promotion plan. This is like system suggested patient education. So here you would go, um, our BMI is a little high, so we're going to do it based on the BMI plan. You can um, select depression plan or hypertension plan, whatever is specific to the patient and their visit. Um, diagnosis, overweight, diet, you can choose your diet. Any details that you want to add, what type of diet you're giving them. Physical activity. We'll do strength um, training. And if you want to do a referral, you can do a referral. And we're going to add that. And by adding, that's how your provider just got credit because it's added to this grid. And then make sure you save and close. You can get the HealthWise through other templates as well. Procedures, if you go right here to Procedures and you right click, you'll see Resources, Internal Patient Education. This is going to pull up your HealthWise. Again, you would send to the patient portal or save to the encounter. 
Um, if you want to print it, remember to save to the encounter or send to the portal and then select. From the pr problems module, you would come down here to resources. Again, you would select something specific to your patient. Maybe let's... And again, you would send to the portal or save to the encounter. I think we may need to pull up something related to diabetes. Or it might be already in that patient. All right, so this has already been saved to the patient's encounter. From the medication module, you'll want to go right here. You would want to highlight your medication that you want to um, view or print your monograph from. You would go to Resources, Monograph. This is really important. The monograph can be viewed or printed for the eligible provider to get credit. So. Just by me pulling it up and looking at it, the provider has gotten credit. There's a background tracking for that. So those are the different ways that your, your provider can get credit for the patient education resources. Save to the patient encounter. It's via HealthWise. The monograph can be viewed or printed. And the education order completed as part of a, a suggestion from a health promotion plan. I showed you that from the intake right here. So that was system suggested information that we did, and that counted. If you have any questions, please feel free to email the help desk. We look forward to you meeting this measure, and thank you so much.